Hello everyone, welcome to exam A to Z. This is Uma Maheshwa. In this video, we are going to look at uh, 2019 Tier 1 that happened on 4th March 3rd shift. So, this shift is especially so calculative. Now, let's look at the questions. A sells an article to B at a loss of 20%, B sells it to C at a profit of 12.5%, and C sells it to D at a loss of 8%. If D buys it for 248.40, then what is the difference between the loss incurred by A and C? Let A buys it for 100 and it sells it to B, 20% loss means 80. And B sells it to C at 12.5% profit. 12.5 means 1 by 8. 1 by 8 of 80 is nothing but 10. So increase it. 90. Now D sells it at a loss of 8%. 8% of 90 is simply 720 by 100 is 7.2. Now loss occurred to C is 7.2. Loss occurred to A is 20. The difference between A's loss and C's loss is 12.8. He is asking you the 12.8 percent and D buys it for 82.8. So he is giving you 82.8 percent or else the value as 248.40 that is simply into 3 so all you have to do is 12.8 into 3 38.4 a sum of 8000 invested at 10 percent per annum amounts to 9261 in certain time interest compounded half yearly we know when 8000 becomes 9261, 10% half yearly means 5%. The factor that raised to 5% is 21 by 20. 3, we know 8000 becomes 9261, amount is 9261, principal is 8000. So this is 21 by 20 whole cube, which means we can say it took 3 half years. 3 half year means the time is 1 and a half year. What will be the compound interest on the same sum for the same time at double the earliest rate of interest? So now the rate of interest is 20, but the time is one and a half year. So 20, one and a half year means first 20, then after 10%, because half year only. So it becomes 32%. Now 32% of 8,000. 32 by 100 into 8. 32 8 is 256. So 2560 is the answer. If 7 cos square theta plus 3 sin square theta is equals to 6. So let's find out what is the value of theta first. I can write it as 7 into 1 minus sin square theta plus 3 sin square theta is equals to 6. If 6 comes here, sin goes there it becomes 4 sin theta because minus 4 sin theta you'll get 4 sin square theta is equals to 1 therefore sin theta is equals to 1 by 2 theta is equals to 6 30 degrees and we know cot 60 is 1 by root 3 so cot 60 cot square 60 is 1 by 3 plus second 60 is 2 so whole square is 4 tan 60 is root 3, root 3 whole square is 3, minus sin 60 is root 3 by 2, that is 3 by 4. So it becomes 13 by 3, if it reciprocates, 4 by 9, 52 by 27. Cos 9 plus sin 81, secant 9 plus cosecant 81. I am writing cosecant, cos 9 as sin 81, secant 9 as cosecant 81. So this becomes, the numerator becomes 2 into sin 81 
2 into cosecant 81 by 2 you common you will get sin square 63 plus you can write it as cos square 63. So in the numerator sin 81 and cosecant 81 gets cancelled. So 2 plus 2 into 2 it becomes 4. The denominator 1 plus 2 is 3 because anyway this becomes 1. So answer is 4 by 3 here. How many numbers are there from 200 to 800 which are neither divisible by 5 nor by 7. So anyway 200 is divisible by 5. So whether you take 200 or not it doesn't matter. So first we are calculating the numbers from 1 to 800. Then after 1 to 200. Then after 201 to 800. Anyway 200 will not be there in our answers. First we look at the numbers which are divisible by 5. Look at how many numbers are divisible by 5 in between 1 to 800, 800 you divide it by 5, it is 160. How many numbers from 1 to 200, it will be divisible by 5, there are 40 numbers. So, 2 not 1 to 800, there are 120 numbers. Divisible by 7, you divide 800 by 7. We know 700 means 100, then after you have 14. So, 114 numbers. 200, 1 to 200, there will be 28 numbers. Because we know 7 14 is a 98. 98 if, if you double it, it will be 196. So there will be 28 numbers. Then see how many numbers are divisible by both 5 and 7 which is divisible by 35. 35 into 20 is 700. So again 770 is 35 22. Is a. So there are 22 numbers. Now 200 means there are only 5 numbers. Now find out 201 to 800 how many numbers are divisible by 7. If you find out the difference it will be 86. Now this is 70. So in between 201 to 800 first we will find out how many numbers are divisible by 5 and 7. So 5 is 120, 7 is 87, 86. Now if you add both of them it will be 206. Subtract numbers are divisible by both because it comes in both 5 and as well as 7. So the number of numbers which are divisible by 5 and 7 is 189. From 201 to 800, we have 600 numbers. Out of it, only 189 are divisible by 5 and 7. So take them out. So remaining numbers are 411. So therefore, 411 numbers are divisible by, are neither divisible by 5 nor divisible by 7. First, we need to, in order to find it out, first we need to find it out numbers which are divisible by 5 and 7. Then after, you need to subtract it. So value of this expression he is asking you. First, we'll solve the numerator. We have to follow the bracket accordingly and we know how to use it. Uh, first we have to follow the order of BODMOS. First brackets, then after offer order, then after division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. So 8 divided by, in this bracket you have 5 divided by, first solve this, this is 32. 4 divided by 32 is 1 by 8. Then after you have this division 1 by 2, 1 by 2 into 4 is 2. So 4 minus 2 is plus 2. So we have this. You have 5 divided by 17 by 8. Then after you have minus 2. Solve this. This becomes 40 by 17 minus 2. Again simplify it, 8 divided by 34, 40 minus 34 is 6. So it reciprocates 17 by 6 which is 4 by 3 of 17. This is your numerator. Now come to denominator. Now denominator becomes first solve of 8 divided by 4 is 2. So, 8 into 2 is 16 minus 8 of 2, 16. 8 divided by 16 is 1 by 2 minus 7. 
So we know 16 minus 7, 9. 9 minus 1 by 2 is 17 by 2. This is your denominator. So take it into denominator 17 by 2. 17, 17 anyway cancel. 2 1s are 2 3s are. So 8 by 3. I have simplified it here but anyway even if you take any anything it will be the same. If the selling price of an article is 8% more than the cost price and the discount offered is 10% on the marked price of the article then what is the ratio of the cost price to the marked price? We know marked price by cost price is equals to 100 plus P by 100 minus D. So he's asking you CP by MP but first MP by CP profit is 8% discount is 10% so the ratio is 18 Pfizer 18 Sigza cost price to market price is 5 is to 6. Two circles of radius 7 cm and 5 cm intersect each other at A and B the distance between their centers is 10 then the length of the common curve AB. So they intersect at A and B. This is A. Let this be B. Distance between the centers is 10. This is 7 and 5. So you need to find out the length of the common curve AB. We know line drawn from a center, divide the curve into two equal parts, let it be X. So now you got this triangle. 7, 5, 10 and the height of this triangle is x here. We know the area of a triangle is half into 10 into x and the other way around the area of a triangle you can also find out by using under root of s into s minus a s minus b s minus c. So under root of you can say 10 plus 7 plus 5 22 22 by 2 is 11 11 into so 11 minus 10 is 1 11 minus 7 is 4 11 minus 5 is 6 so you got this root of 4 is 2 so 5x is equals to 2 under root of 66 x is equals to 2 by 5 root of 66 but ab is 2 times of x therefore 4 by 5 root of 66 in a triangle abc ac is 8.4 bc is equals to 14 common point is c so i'm drawing the triangle as C as the topmost point. Now this is AB. AC is 8.4. BC is 14. P is a point on AB such that CP is 11.2. So I can say CP is 11.2. ACP is equals to angle B. So ACP is angle B. So this is also angle B. This is anyway angle A. So therefore this becomes angle C. I can clearly say here the similarity that is ACP is similar to triangle ABC. So angle C here equal to B, angle P here equal to C. If they are similar, their opposite sides will also be in the same proportion. So what is the length of BP? Our aim is to find out this BP. Now look at angle A opposite to in the smaller triangle angle A opposite 11.2 the larger triangle it is 14 the ratio of there is 4 is to 5 in the smaller triangle angle C is 8.4 that is 4 parts if 4 parts is 8.4 we can say 2.1 is each part 5 parts will be 10.5 therefore the overall angle B in the larger angle C in the larger will be opposite side will be AB so that is 10.5 now angle B in the larger one opposite to angle B you have 8.4 so 5 parts is 8.4 now how much is 4 parts I can say if you multiply it will be 33.2 33.6 by 5 I can take it as 336 by 50 so subtract 105 by 10 336 by 50 5 is a 525 5 into minus 336 by 50 
which is 189 by 50 multiply and divide it by 2 and 2. So, you are getting 378 by 100 that is 3.78. So, it is very calculative. So, all you can do it by using the similarity. Try to understand this similarity and do it for yourself. You can get it. If 2x square plus y square plus 8z square minus 2 root 2xy plus 4 root 2yz minus 8zx is equals to it is in the form of a plus b plus c whole square. So, you need to convert left hand side also a plus b plus c whole square but before that you take care of the sign. So, here you have negative and here you have negative. So, in both what is common x is common. So, put to the coefficient of x to negative. So, I can say minus root 2 x whole square that is a square plus and so on you have y square is y square plus 2 root 2 z whole square. So, and so on to a b 2 c 2 b c 2 c a you get. So, but what is a b c minus root 2 x plus y plus 2 root 2 z this you get a b c compare it with the coefficients of x y z. So, coefficients of x y z if you compare a is minus root 2 and b is 2 root 2. I can say a square is 2 b square is 8 minus a b is 4. So, minus a b is 4 therefore, if you combine everything 10 plus 4 it is 14. In triangle ABC angle B is 72 and angle C is 44. So, 72 44 72 plus 44 is 116 remaining is 64. So, BC is produced to D and the bisector of angle B and angle ACD meet at point E. So, one is internal bisector and one is external bisector. So, we know one internal bisector and external bisector meets the angle produced here B E C is equals to angle A by 2. Therefore, angle A is 64 by 2 is 32 degrees. Four men and six women can complete a certain piece of work in five days whereas the three men and four women can complete it in seven days. First find out their efficiency ratio. We know four men and six women. complete a piece of work in 5 days whereas 3 men plus 4 women can complete it in 7 days. So, 20 men 21 men so therefore, 1 man 28 women 30 therefore, 2 women. So, men is 2 women ratio is 2 is to 1 that is their efficiency ratio. So, we know 7 days 3 men plus 4 women can complete it. Now, how many men should assist 25 women? 25 women. How many men? Let it be x men. How many days? 5 days. How much? How many times of work? 2.5 times of work. Here it is 1 work. Now we are using m1 e1 by w1 is equals to m2 e2 by w2. This formula. So now cancel it and find out the value of x. 2.51s are 2.52s are. In place of m you substitute 2, in place of w you substitute 1, 7 into 6 plus 4, 10, 2 into so 25, substitute 2x. This is 50, 50 goes there it becomes 20 is equals to 4x. Now x is equals to 5. So 5 men can assist. A, B, C donate 8%, 7% and 9% of this salary respectively to a charitable trust. The salary of A and B are same and the difference between their donations is 259. The moment they say their salaries are same and the donations difference is 259. So, 8% and 7% the difference is just 1%. If 1% 1 is 259 which means the complete donation of A is 25,900. B is also 25,900. Now, 1% 1 is 259. The total donation of A and B is 1185 more than C, which means C is 1185 
less than A and B donation. A and B donation put together is 15% of A and B, which means A you can find it out, minus 1185. That's a donation of C. 15% will try to find it out. For 10% is 2590. 5% 5 is 2600 by 2 is 1300. 1300 minus 5 you do 1295. This is 15% of 25,900. From that you have to subtract 1185. So you are getting 110 here. So that 110 you need to add it to this. It becomes 2700. That is the donation of C. 9% is 2700 means 1% 1 is 300. Therefore, this is total is 30,000. Now, he is asking you the total donation of A and C is what percent of the total salary of ABC? Total salary of ABC 25, 25, 50, 50 plus 30, 80, 900 plus 900 is 1800. So, 81,800. Now, donation of C we know 2700. We need to find out donation of A. Assume that 1% is 260, therefore 8% becomes 2080. So it's approximately 4780 is what percent of 81,800. If you calculate 81,800, 10% is 8180, 5% is 490, and 1% is 818. If I add 1%, so this is 5%, this is 1%, it exceeds 4780. Therefore, it is definitely less than 6% and more than 5%. So it should be in between 5 and 6, the only option which is in between 5 and 6 and is very close to 6%, that is 5.8. Don't try to figure out the exact value because it's very tough to find it out in the exam. So, and this is very calculative uh, as you can see here. Places A and B are 144 kilometers apart. Two cars simultaneously, one from A and the other from B. They move in the same direction. If they move in the same direction, their speeds will be A minus B. So, they meet after 12 hours means distance is 144 by 12 it will be 12 so this is time but if they move towards each other they meet 9 by 8 hours 144 by their relative speed become 9 by 8 9 ones are 9 16 so 16 eight are 128 now a plus b is 128 therefore find out 2a is equals to so you get 12 plus 120 is 128 is 140 therefore speed of a is 70 here we are assuming a is a faster faster moving car speed of a is greater than the speed of b we are assuming it so the answer is 70 a sum of x was divided between a b c and d in the ratio 1 by 3 is to 1 by 5 is to 1 by 6 is to 1 by 9 if the difference between the share of b and d is 832 then the value of x is First of all, find out the LCM of 3, 5, 6, 9, that the LCM is 90. So, the multiply the entire ratio by 90. So, it becomes 30, 18, then 15, then 10. Difference between B and D. It is 8 parts is 832, which means 1 part is 104. So, 7, this is 40 plus 33, 73, 73 parts into 104. We know 3 4s are ends with 2. So the only option which ends with 2 is 7592. You can multiply and see. The curves A, B, C, D of a circle intersect at E. If A, E, B, E and the relation between C, E and D is given. We know the formula A, E into B, E is equals to C, E into D, E. So let d be x, then it becomes 3x. Now we have e is 12, 20.25 is 81 by 4. So 12 into 81 by 4 is equals to 3x square. 3, 3 also cancel, x is 9. But we need ce, which is 9 into 3, 27 centimeters.
the average age of number of persons in a group was calculated as 35 years which was 2.5 years more than the correct average as there was an error in recording the age of two persons as 38.5 in 40 years instead of 29 in 22 see how much more you have calculated this is 9.5 this one is 18 put together you have calculated 27.5 extra so increase in the total is 27.5 increase in the average is 2.5 therefore number of observations is equals to increase in the total by increase in the average so we can say 25 11 is 275 therefore there are 11 members in the group if 12x square minus 21x plus 1 is equals to 0 then the value of 3x whole square plus 1 by 4x whole square so we need to divide it by 4 if I divide it by 4x you get 3x minus xx anyway cancel 21 by 4 plus 1 by 4x is equals to 0 therefore 3x plus 1 by 4x is equals to 21 by 4 whole square if you do it 9x square plus 1 by 16x square 21 whole square is 441 16 minus 2 into 3 into 1 by 4 this becomes 3 by 2 so 441 minus 8 so because 2 8 8 into 3 you have by anyway 16 441 minus 24 is 417 by 16 is the answer if x plus y plus z is equals to 3 and x square plus y square plus z square is equals to 101 then what is the value of under root of x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3 x y z so we know if x plus y plus z x plus y plus z is equals to p x y plus y z plus z x is equals to q then this whole value is under root of p into p square minus 3q first find out xy plus yz plus zx so square on both sides here becomes 9 is equals to 101 plus 2q so 2q is equals to minus 90 2 therefore q is equals to minus 46 substitute here under root of p value is 3 3 into 3 square is 9 so it becomes plus 3 into 46 is 138 3 into 149 147 147 you can factorize it as 3 into 49 root of 9 is 3 root of 49 is 7 answer is 21 here second theta plus tan theta is equals to p so we know if second theta plus tan theta is equals to p secant theta plus tan theta is equals to p then secant theta minus tan theta is equals to 1 by p therefore cancel it 2 secant theta p square plus 1 by p therefore secant theta p square plus 1 by 2p secant is generally hypotenuse that is p square plus 1 by adjacent that is 2p therefore opposite becomes p square minus 1 is giving you opposite by hypotenuse opposite by hypotenuse that is sin theta the area of a field in shape of a regular hexagon is 2400 root 3 the cost of fencing the field at 16.80 per meter is hexagon area if you don't remember the formula just remember that it is equal to six equilateral triangles so 6 into equilateral triangle area is root 3 by 4 a square which is equals to 2400 root 3 anyway root root cancel therefore root 3 root 3 cancel 6 ones are 6 four hundreds are. a square is equals to 1600 therefore a is equals to 40 fencing means it is perimeter that is 6 a that is 6 into 40 240 therefore 240 meters each meter is 6.8 into 240 0 end point cancel 168 into 24 the unit digit is 2 in the options all the unit digits are unique therefore answer with unit digit 2 option with unit digit 2 is your answer
If you want, you can multiply the entire thing and check it. During 2015, the production of which type of motorcycle was more than 25% of the total production of all type of motorcycles in 2017? So, if 2017 all type of, you can find it out, 2017 all type of productions. So, total production of all types. And 2015, the production of which type of motorcycle was 25%, more than 25% he is asking. So you can find out the total and you can find out 25% of it. Then which type of, uh, in 2015, which type is more, you can find it out. But before that, if you observe 2015, the productions are 85, 9, 89, 95 and 1 or 2. If it is greater, it must be 1 or 2. Because suppose if 95 is greater, then the 25% of all type in 2017 then one or two will also be greater so simply he is asking you during 2015 which type of the production is maximum so without calculating only you can say one or two is maximum because one can be less and another cannot be more so simply he is asking you which type is maximum the maximum is one or two if you understand the question within seconds you can answer this he is asking you what is the percentage increase in total production of all types of motorcycle from 2014 to 2018. So we know 100, 380s are there so 240 and 4 plus 7 plus 9 is 20. So 100 plus 240 plus 20 is 360. Again here it is 180 plus 220 that is 410. Then after you have 10 so 420. So percentage increase if you find it out, find out the ratio 6 6 are 6 7 are. therefore 1 upon percentage increase is 1 upon 6 which is 16 2 by 3 percent increase. By what percent is the total production of type A motorcycles over 6 years? Type A over 6 years 95, 84, 85, 9, 89, 80, 98 what you do is assume that you are writing it as 90 plus something. So plus 5, minus 6, minus 5, minus 1, minus 10, plus 8. Cancel this. Minus 5 plus 5. This is minus 2. So 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90. in 6 years is 540. How much we are getting? We are getting minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 6, minus 2, minus 10. Therefore, the sum is 530. So that is A over 6 years and now is less than the total production of all type of motorcycles in 2013 and 2016. 2013 all type of motorcycles. So 5 plus 8 13, 13 plus 7 20. Now 100 plus 180, 380 plus 20 is 400. 2016 2 plus 5 7, 17 24. 180 plus 24, 204 plus 160. 364 so this is 530 and the other one is 764 so how much more it is 70 plus 64 134 plus 200 so you can say 234 less than 764 therefore I can say 234 is what percent of 764 just take 764 10% of 764 is 76.4 30 percent is close to 73 is a 210, 6 3 is a 18. So I can say 228. Now 0.4 into 3 is just say, let's say 1 plus 1 more that is 229. So you got 234. If I take 1% that becomes 7.6. If you add it, it, it is more than 234. So it is in between 30% to 31%. So our answer is 30.5%. What is the ratio of the total number of motorcycle of type B produced in 2016 and 2018? 2016 type B is 88 and 18 is 92. That's put together 180 is 2. The total number of motorcycle of type D produced in 2013, 15 and 16. Type D in 13, 15 and 16. So I can say 105 plus 95, 300. So therefore the ratio is 0, 0 cancel. 6, 3 is a 6, 5 is a ratio is 5 is to 3.